today on Cooking with Kids, we have Ava and Mayara joining us, and we are going to be making an apple cream pie. I love this recipe because it's a hybrid between apple crisp and apple pie, and you don't have to make a crust at all. You just pat it into the pan, so it's very easy for kids to help make this recipe. So right now, we're going to start with the crust, and Ava is going to show us how to measure our flour. She's going to use the flat end of the knife and just scrape it flat on the... Now she's going to mix the milk with the oil. And this is a two tablespoons of milk with a half a cup of oil. Take her knife and stir it up. This just helps emulsify it before you add it to our flour. And this is one and a half cups of flour. Now she's going to pour it into the flour. We're going to stir it up. Now that you can see it's all crumbly, we're ready to pour it into our pan. This is a nine inch pan. We're going to just dump it in. And now we're going to pat it into the pan. So go ahead and pat it into the pan with your hand. You can use your hand. We want to pat it all the way up to the edge, just like this. This is our nice crust. Ava here is going to cut our apples up. Go ahead. This is using an apple master, which makes cutting them up such a breeze because it peels, cores, and slices our apples. We only have one step that we have to do. It makes it look like a slinky. There you go. Good job. And we're using Granny Smith, but really you can use whatever apple you want. Uh, I prefer tart firm apples. Pink Lady, Honeycrisp works for this, Rayburn, any number of those apples. Okay. All the way. And then we just slide it off, and you can see here, creates this nice slinky, perfectly sliced apples. We just take this, and we're going to cut it in fours. Filling. We're going to pour in one cup of half and half, and one and a fourth cup to one and a half cup of sugar, and then one teaspoon of vanilla, a dash of salt, and one third cup flour. We're going to mix that all up. Golden. All right, we're going to pour our fourth, or sorry, four cups of apples in and stir it into the filling. This is going to make it nice and creamy. This is the filling with the apples and the cream. We're going to pour this into our pan. Our tip is just rinse out your bowl and dry it real quick and you can keep using the same bowl over and over so you're not washing so many different dishes. We're going to make the topping. The topping now calls for one, one half cup flour and one third cup sugar and then we're going to have a half a stick of butter. Until it forms crumbles. Go. We're going to sprinkle some cinnamon in at this point and stir it up. We're going to pour the crumbly topping on top of the pie and just spread it out a little bit. And then it's going to go into the oven at 450 degrees for 15 minutes. And then we'll reduce it to 350 for 45 to 50 minutes till it's soft. It's best to take a thermometer and check that the apples are done to 160 to 180 uh, so that you know the apples are done. Our pie is definitely done. Our temperature is well above 160. So we know our apples are going to be soft and it has a nice brown top. If it starts getting too dark, you can put foil over the top to finish it off so you don't get it burnt. This is our apple cream pie, all finished. 
Thanks for joining us for Cooking with Kids, making an apple cream pie.